Hi everybody, it's Bia again from Bia Quilter. Um, I was going to show, this is a tab in EQ8 that I don't really use much, but it's actually very helpful. You can, when you open up EQ, you, I usually go in and design a quilt from scratch or open an existing project and keep going. But here, you can start with a quick quilt project and I wanted to highlight the storm at sea um, section here. There's quite a few different designs and you can open them up and kind of play with them. Modify block size, whatever. So let's open up this one. And let's see here. One thing that I love to do with fabrics is to go in and swap colors. So let's see here. Oh, they got the colors all mixed up here. Let me actually do sell the colors instead. So let's say I wanted to do maybe a patriotic quilt. I'll start with this one kind of radiates out from the middle and out. So I'll start with that dark red, then maybe another red, a little bit different red. Maybe I needed to add that like that. I don't know. Let's see. Um, keeps going. Let's go into, you know what I want to do? I think I want to go in and do the background black. Just so then I can go red, white, and blue. I got to think backwards right here. Then maybe I want to do, let's see, let me start from back here from the outside and then I'll go darker and darker or lighter and lighter. <laughs> see, I'm getting there. Um, I don't know, maybe another one. It could really get very light. About one that's like white, bluish. See how that changed? That's kind of cool. I like that. We can add it to the sketchbook. Uh, as you may notice, up here it says Untitled. Because it was from the EQ program, and I open it up, it wants you to save it as a separate little file. I can go in here and change the layout. Right now it has sashing. That's four and a half. I'm trying to think without looking, I believe the AccuQuilt Storm at Sea die is 12 inches finished, but that is with 8 inches in the middle and then 4 inches. Oh, keep width and height equal. There we go. And you can just kind of click right here one at a time. So see now, that would be that. I think they added the border just to show binding. Sometimes I do that, most times I don't, because then it just adds to the yardage. So right here would be 64 inches square. That's kind of fun. Uh, let's see here. We can go back in the sketchbook and let's see another fun one. Well, that one's very similar. Here, I'll just say no. Here, let me see, it looks like, yeah, so that's a storm at sea block. Do you see that? So it has a little corner squares as part of it. So I want to say that, I don't know, again, without looking, I think the AccuQuilt one is 16, then, if I remember correctly. Let me go in and just do like three by three. I don't know. I don't like mitered corners. You know what? I'm just going to delete them. There we go. Then I can go in and... Actually, let's do this. Let me find here. There is a randomize right here. You can do random like that or... I did control Z to go back. 
or you can say match to sketchbook I can say map to colors if I just want solid colors I don't really like those it's just one click and then you can really see what it is in the same way you can go in and then you can say map to fabric in this case I don't even know if it selected the the same fabric so let me go back no it didn't <laughs> the gray changed a little bit you can yeah swap colors let's say you only want it to be let me actually do this instead so I want it to be three colors and I'm kind of doing a wavy effect here see how I'm doing it see that's, I like the 3d effect it gets what if I do oh the other way where's yellow there we go if I swap that one with a yellow eh I don't know but anyway it's fun let's see what else we can do oh yeah I never added borders to this guy here now because the blocks were 16 inches I could do if I do four inches and then I do blocks let's see here I would then do well that fits 12 yeah there's three blocks times four is 12 I'll do the same down here then let's see here do, do, do. I wonder what that would look like if I added these blocks that I'll go in and do Oh, that's just really busy but whatever if you want like that look I could go in and hmm let me see if I do every other one I don't know if that fits or works All right, almost there. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's not too bad. I don't like that yellow though. Let me go back and change it. Oh, <laughs> I didn't do swap color. There we go. Oh yeah, much better. And now it'll be 56 by 56. So that's cute. Let's say you want to turn it into a baby quilt instead. So I want to keep it below, let's say, 40 inches wide. So I can do two. Yeah, then it's 32, and the borders are four inches. So that's 40 inches. Then I would just go in here and change the, this one to 8 instead. Oh, it changed all the colors. Well, bummer. Why did it do that? Well, we're just going to have to change that back again. Go. I guess I couldn't figure that out. That's okay. It won't take long. That one changes to that. Uh, that's already there. Well, you could do dark blue like that. I don't know. It doesn't have the same effect, but then it's 40 by 56. That's okay. And then once you print it and export it, it'll show the yardage and how much you need of each. 
So you can sit and play around with the storm at sea. It's easy enough to just go in and change your colors. So anyway, just a quick little fun playing with storm and sea. See you next time. Bye-bye.